Welcome to the Dr. Data Show. This is Eric Siegel. And in this episode, I'm going to narrate my Forbes article, Three Ways Predictive AI Delivers More Value Than Generative AI. Generative AI attracts headlines, but predictive AI delivers greater value, at least across today's projects. In this article, I cover three ways predictive AI eclipses generative AI. Here's the article. Which kind of AI should companies focus on? Generative AI, which produces writing, computer code, images, video, and other content, or predictive AI, which targets ads, marketing, fraud detection, risk management, healthcare treatment, and other established operations. Those posing this question may be missing the point, similar to when someone agonizes over which of two people to marry. When it's framed as an either-or choice, that's a sign that neither option has yet to clearly compel. Rather than selecting an attractive technology and then searching for a problem, also known as solutionism, Industry leaders advise beginning with a value proposition by first identifying an important problem and then figuring out how best to solve it. As University of Toronto management professor Milni Moldovanu put it, AI strategies fail because AI is a means, not an end. Do you have an AI strategy makes as much sense as asking, do we have an Excel strategy? Instead ask, where are the best opportunities for improving operations? And how can technology per help pursue that opportunity and secure an operational win? Predictive versus generative AI. Generative and predictive AI serve entirely different purposes. Generative AI aims to perform tasks currently handled by people. In contrast, Predictive AI pursues a goal that's less ambitious, but often more consequential. It streamlines an enterprise's largest scale operations, the very processes that have already evolved to become systematic. This means that while generative AI can appear more impressive and intriguing, predictive AI often delivers greater business, uh, bottom line improvements to enterprise efficiencies. Many enterprises would benefit by redirecting generative AI's disproportionate attention back toward predictive AI. Predictive AI, also known as predictive analytics or enterprise machine learning, is the technology businesses turn to for boosting the performance of almost any kind of existing large-scale operation across functions including marketing, manufacturing, fraud prevention, risk management, and supply chain optimization. It learns from data to predict outcomes and behaviors, such as who will click buy, lie, or die, which vehicle will, will require maintenance, or which transaction will turn out to be fraudulent. These predictions drive millions of operational decisions a day, determining whom to call, mail, approve, test, diagnose, warn, investigate, incarcerate, set up on a date, or medicate. Predictive AI holds three main advantages over generative AI. Number one, predictive AI often delivers higher returns than generative AI. Since it improves an enterprise's largest scale processes, predictive AI has the potential to deliver the greatest impact on enterprise efficiencies. To be a mature organization is to have streamlined your main activities, establishing them as rote systematic processes that consist of many individual decisions. Given their uniformity, such processes are ripe for predictive optimization. Accordingly, predictive AI delivers high returns and improves the customer experience. UPS saves an estimated $35 million annually by optimizing package delivery planning with, a predi uh, with predictions of tomorrow's deliveries. A, midi a medium-sized bank could save $16 million annually by, pre by predicting which payment card transactions are fraudulent. 
a marketing campaign could increase profit by a factor of five by predicting which customers will buy. By the way, I'll make a note that that paragraph that I just read has a, links in four different places on those different examples <clears throat> if you want to dig in. The original article, of course, is linked from the show notes. This is the original AI, the kind of established enterprise use case of machine learning that has accumulated decades of proven results. It's older, but predictive AI is not old school. It's still where most of the money is. The predictive AI market is projected to reach $64 billion in 2025, whereas the spend on generative AI was still estimated to be less than 7% that of predictive AI last year, or even less than 4% by other estimates. And yet, predictive AI's potential is still largely untapped, in part because companies are still struggling with how to effectively move from its development to its operationalization. Opportunities abound. That struggle, by the way, is the topic of my new book, The AI Playbook. Number two, predictive AI can operate autonomously, whereas generative AI usually cannot. For many deployments, predictive AI can reliably drive decisions without a human in the loop, while generative AI supports rather than automates human processes. With enterprise use cases of generative AI, such as helping write marketing creatives and improving the efficiency of code, you need a human in the loop reviewing each output, every assertion, suggestion, inference, statement, segment of computer code, and draft document that it generates. Generative AI positions itself to take on consequential human tasks, activities that occur that attract scrutiny because they would require high levels of performance for the computer to operate without constant human supervision. When, when a machine writes what normally would be written by a human, you can't blindly trust it. In contrast, by taking on functions that are more forgiving, many applications of predictive AI can capture the immense value of full autonomy. Bank systems instantly decide whether to allow a credit card charge. Websites instantly decide which ad to display, and marketing systems make a million yes-no decisions as to who gets contacted. So do the analytics systems of political campaigns. E-commerce sets the price for each purchase from flights to flashlights. Safety systems decide which bridge, manhole, and restaurant to inspect. No human is in the loop for those specific decision-making steps. Number three, predictive AI is much cheaper and imposes a much smaller footprint than generative AI. The machine learning models needed for predictive AI projects are generally orders of magnitude lighter weight than generative AI's models. Large language models, generative AI models that produce text and code, normally consist of between 100 billion and a trillion parameters and are often trained over billions of pages, which consumes a great deal of energy. In contrast, predictive AI models often consist of only dozens to hundreds of parameters, rarely more than several thousand, and are commonly trained over only 100,000 or fewer learning cases you can train it on your laptop. This disparity stems from a fundamental difference in objectives. Generative AI strives to produce content that hinges on, a, on as deep an understanding of human-like concepts as we can squeeze out of a machine. In contrast, predictive AI strives to predict the inherently unpredictable outcomes such as human behavior, who will click by lie or die. There's a ceiling on how well such things could be predicted, no matter how complex the model. We cannot expect to achieve crystal ball levels of confidence in general for such prediction goals. Instead, predictive AI delivers predictions that are better than guessing, and this is generally more than sufficient to deliver a meaningful improvement on the bottom line. 
Since you face diminishing returns in performance when increasing the complexity of a predictive model, relatively lightweight models usually fit the bill for predictive AI projects. Leverage predictive AI more alongside generative AI's adoption. It's only natural that generative AI's glitz and novelty would dominate the spotlight. We've never before seen computers behave in such a seemingly human-like manner. But the attention on generative shouldn't take away from the growing adoption of predictive. On the one hand, generative AI is not all hot air. Having a computer generate first drafts of writing and code is truly a remarkable and valuable thing, so long as you recognize the need for a human to review each draft. On the other hand, we're not expecting AI anytime soon that can fully automate jobs. It's only a tool, not a replacement for humans. What generative and predictive AI do have in common, core machine learning principles, is buried deep under their hoods. So it's not an either-or competition, nor a zero-sum game. They should compete no more than ski resorts and water parks. Ideally, organizations should approach each operational problem with the most suitable technology to generate the greatest value. Thanks for listening.